chewing. Welcome back to Novice Explorer Radio. This week the explorers reached the epic conclusion of the romantic route. They've saved the best till last. Hello Chucky's at home and thanks for tuning in. Good morning. This was our digs last night. It wasn't too bad at the night time, but now as you can see, it's filled up quite a lot. But that's because it's a good proximity to the center. This was a short walk for us. There's a bit of a chill in the air, so let's go. We explored the main square, which was bustling on a market day, surrounded by churches and their towers. We walked up the steep streets towards the Grand Church of the Holy Spirit. Dating back to the 17th century, the impressive gold interior and elaborately painted ceilings were quite a sight. Close by is the Bavarian Gate. We made our way back down into the quaint streets in search of a spot for our picnic lunch. Close to the river and muted to him tower. How gracious. It's lunch time. I'm always gracious that it's lunch time. <laughs> So now we start the route down south to Fussen. We're going to have to pay for a motorhome stop over tonight because we want some facilities. Uh, definitely want a shower and stuff like that. Uh, there's quite a few to choose from, so that's a good thing for us. And you know, we haven't paid for parking up in a long time, so it's, it's not too bad. We can brunt to the cost <laughs> for one night, I'm sure. We've got um, castles, lots of castles and lakes, lakes to finish off this romantic trip. And I think tomorrow, potentially the last nice day we're going to have for a while, so we've timed this somehow. Bob on. During our drive to Fussen, we travelled through the region known as Pfaffenwinkel, or Priest Corner. Here the landscape changed quite dramatically and we got very excited to see mountains again. We were surrounded by vibrant green pastures and the sound of cowbells. We pulled up next to Lake Fogassi to stretch our legs and take in the landscape. It changed so quickly from our last town and this is what we have now, it's amazing. I personally really wasn't expecting to see stuff like this today but this is what I wanted to see. It's very reminiscent of being in Scotland for me, asking Meg to pull over every five seconds because the landscape changes every, every corner you go around. It's just absolutely beautiful today. Lovely green fields, the trees are just turning. It's just absolutely insane. We could have happily stayed here all day, but we had to make the short drive to Fussen to find a place to stay and shower. So we've made it to Fussen. We have booked ourselves into a 15 euro a night motorhome stop, which is paid by an automatic little machine, which has been pretty cool, we've topped up on water. And we're here mainly for a shower and a relax before tomorrow's adventure around Fussen and the area. 
The beauty of traveling in our camper van means that this morning we woke up in a very busy central uh, car park as you would have seen and now we are at the foot of some absolutely stunning mountains like you saw earlier. It's quite busy here but it's just motorhomes but it's kind of nice once in a while to have all your amenities and just feel relaxed. So this is the general setup we have. Once we uh, get into a spot and feel comfortable then we swivel the seat, open up the space a bit and uh, at the moment it's quite nice weather so we're letting some fresh air flow through the van and take away the smell of camembert. Good morning. It's been a lovely 20 minute walk for us from our camp spot into the old town of Fussen. And we are just exploring on a little ramble, but look at the views. We've been blessed once again. This is outrageous. You wouldn't want to take a quick dip in there today, I'll tell you that. It's stunning though, isn't it? We are going to make our way slowly upstream and go and visit Lach Falls. We were blessed with great weather. It made the colours around us so vibrant and close to being surreal. There is a lovely hike up into the hills behind the Lecker Falls, but we're going to do something a little bit different. Slightly more taxing and hopefully for a better view. We jumped off the well-trodden tourist trail into the woods, towards Kalvarenberg, a religious site. Extremely glad I went for walking boots today and not the terrible old broken trainers. You feeling good? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we're nearly at the top. We're hoping for quite a nice vantage point, but we don't really know. Yeah, the colours are amazing yeah. from the water, the greens, the orange and yellows of the trees. We've reached the top. Now it's just the last few steps up to the crosses and we were just saying they looked bigger from down mm. down the ground level but they're still quite impressive so hopefully we can get right to the very tippy top what a fantastic view from up here worth the climb mm, very much so and um, I'm thinking it is lunchtime, do you fancy an epic lunch spot? Don't know, do you reckon this classifies as epic? It's pretty epic. <laughs> It'll do. So we've had a nice filling lunch, uh, soaking in as much of the view as we can because it's been absolutely unbelievable from up here. Honestly, it looks like you're in a painting, doesn't it? Yeah. Doesn't even look real most of the time. So now we're just going to find a way to descend. We need to get back. Uh, probably skirt round a different way and make our way back to the van slowly because we've got to pack up and go. After catching a glimpse of Lake Schwanzee, we walk down to take a closer look. In the distance stood Neuschwanstein Castle. So that was Swansea Lake and now we're going to make our way back towards the main town to go back to the van to move it to find somewhere else to stay which I think might be a bit tricky tonight because it's going to be one of those areas. Last night we got back to the van to move it and decided instead to stay where we were just for ease. Yes, it costs us 15 euros, but finding free spots, as we've mentioned in the area, is quite tricky, so it made sense to stay there. 
So we woke up very early this morning and in the van, Peter, I know you asked a long time ago, but we finally got up for a sunset. Uh, don't know if the footage did it justice. But... And now it's about eight o'clock in the morning and we're trying to beat the crowds up to the castle on St. Mary's Bridge. Uh, and so far we're doing a good job, it's very quiet. Uh, we've got about another hour's walk, I think, from here at least. Um, that's it for today. So yeah, it's not exactly what we planned, but it's working out quite well so far. We've put our best foot forward and scooted around the castle on the walk to the falls a bit quicker than we normally would do because we're trying to beat the crowds. We're gonna take bets on how many people are there. I'm hoping zero. This is because I've done my research and people say that it is quite unpleasant and there's a queue for the amount of people that can fit on the bridge. So we're so this hoping- This is me. So this is me trying to be clever and getting nice footage with no other tourists. So effort is made. <laughs> and as you can hear, we're expelling a lot of energy doing it. Oh, there's one. There's one person. Out of 400? Oh, that's technology for you. What tells you how many are on yeah. there? Oh, wow. Clever. Welcome back to Epic Meal Times. Today the meal is breakfast and uh, it's pastry o'clock. So St Mary's Bridge itself is free. It takes a bit of a hike to get up here, so make sure you've got appropriate footwear. Um, but come either early on or late to avoid the queues. So we're not exactly sure where we are right now. We've kind of gone off piste a little bit. We are on a path, we're not exactly sure where it's going to come out, but that is why we are the Novice Explorers. <laughs> just going to say that. Yeah, exactly. I do enjoy hikes like this. The paths are quite rugged, aren't they? Yeah. But the views are uh, most definitely worth it. The trail took us up high behind the castle with wonderful views across the lakes, mountainous peaks, and flatland. Just in time to witness the sun bask the land in light. You're like a firefly, guide me out of the woods now. But now we're gonna make our way back down and then we're gonna And back over the bridge so we'll see how busy it is now. Give yeah. you a bit of a Compound. this is why we got up early kind of uh But it's quite up here. I thought it'd be busy. We there's a few people earlier, but now it's gone very quiet as well. So yep, making our way back down and go and explore probably the castle because we had to run around it a bit quick earlier, didn't we? Mm. So we'll go have a look at the exterior of the castle. You're glowing in the dark, glowing in the dark, I feel it in my heart. What did we say? <laughs> <laughs> It's time for a quick escape because there are far too many people here <laughs> for our liking. I think let's just get a bit intense. We're going to go find somewhere quieter, hopefully. Yes. And lunchtime. We need lunchtime today. Yes, we won't be doing any of the castle tours because it's not really our thing, but mm. I know that it is 12, 13 euros for a ticket that you can do both castles. Um, kind of within the like little package thing. So instead we decided to go for lunch, our uh, pre-packed lunch made by Meg, and we've got a decent view today. Yes, it's a nice one today, as in lunch. I've got, I've pushed the boat out. We've got a falafel salad with chickpeas, tomatoes, uh, olives, and rocket. Mm. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. 
now we're back to the van. Yeah, sneaky shower number two from this campsite. Let's make the most of it, get some more water and pack up and let's go find a lovely secluded spot. So I recorded this water as we cycled across in the early hours of the morning and it looked quite unbelievable then. But I had to jump off the bike just now to have another look because it just looks absolutely ridiculous. It, it look almost looks fake. It does look artificial or like there's something nasty in the water but I don't know, hopefully, hopefully the camera picks it up. So this is the end of the romantic route for us. We've had a wonderful time and we really think Bavaria's got a lot going for it. Um, we've loved the Alps, loving to have mountains back under our feet. And what better way to celebrate than with an ice cream. For us, the romantic route had so much to offer from picturesque towns to captivating cities and not forgetting the rugged alpine landscape, giving us a variety of camp spots and places to explore. A memorable moment was our first glass of wine on the main bridge in Würzburg. This kicked off the route perfectly. We both agree Fussen was the highlight and best kept till last. There was so much to do and see as you reach the Alps. We were truly blessed with good weather and bright autumnal colours that really made this trip unforgettable. As always, you'll find more information on our webpage and blog. The link for that will be down below. Like, subscribe, comment and share. And don't forget to hit that bell button to receive notifications for when we post a video. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.